Okay, so everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the OCC or oil catch can. I've already received quite a number of questions about this as to whether installing an OCC is a good or bad idea. So I believe in order for us to answer this question better, it is imperative that we need to understand first how this thing works in conjunction with how the crankcase ventilation system works. Considering the last video I made was about the PCV, PCV valve, and overall about the crankcase ventilation system, I strongly suggest that you watch this video too, okay? Now I will tell you out front, as far as I'm concerned, I do not recommend installing one. You see, I have two vehicles here, both diesel engines, 2.5 liter, and neither of them have an OCC. And I will explain why, okay? So briefly, like I've already explained in this video, we need to put a crankcase vent on our engine in order to get rid of blow-by gases. And not only do we want it to vent out, we also want it to be drawn or sucked out of the crankcase as quickly as possible. Remember that phrase, okay? As quickly as possible. Because like I've already said in this video, blow-by gases is made up of hot air, exhaust fumes, unburned fuel, and hot oil vapors. If you allow that to linger inside your crankcase, that is going to make your engine oil hotter. It will mix with your engine oil and that will ruin the proper viscosity of the oil and your engine will lose its proper lubrication, hence your engine wears out sooner. So that is the reason why our crankcase vent is connected to the intake, in order for the blow-by gases to be drawn out of the crankcase as quickly as possible. But the downside of that is your intake will end up looking like this. And not only that, it also has the tendency to accumulate on your valves, causing a carbon buildup. And if that carbon buildup becomes excessive, that might interfere with the opening and closing of the valve. So this is the reason why some people install an OCC. Now how does this thing work? So you have your inlet port here, and you have your filter material here, like this one, and this is your outlet port. So your inlet port is connected to your crankcase vent, and this outlet port is connected to the intake manifold. So blow-by gases is going to pass from here, gets through this filter, and as it does, it separates the oil. And so before the blow-by gases enters the intake, it is mainly just pure air, preventing this from happening. Now a lot of people think that this is what separates the oil, or that this filters out the oil. And that is not correct. What it does is, it slows down the flow from here, to here. And as the flow slows down, it gives the blow-by gases time to cool down and expand. And as it cools down, condensation happens. So the moisture content that is present in the blow-by gases, like unburned fuel and hot oil vapors, condenses and turns into liquid and falls and accumulates here. That is why they call this an oil catch can. The way this thing works is similar to this, actually not similar, but exactly the same working principle. This is for an air compressor, it goes by the name of water separator or air dryer. Now if you ever own an air compressor, you know that every so often you need to drain this tank of water. And the reason why your air compressor accumulates water is because air has moisture in it. And that is precisely why we have this term called humidity. And that refers to the moisture content that is present in the air. So as your air compressor sucks in that air, it will also suck in that moisture with it. And that is the reason why we sometimes need to install a water separator. So that we won't have that water come out from our hose. So just like your OCC, this too does not filter out that water, okay? What it does is it slows down the flow from here to here. Let me show you, okay? So we have done TTSI. First, let me release the air without this connected. So as you see, the flow is constant because the flow is unobstructed. So let's bring the pressure to 90 PSI again. And this time with the air dryer connected, the regulator is all the way open, 90 PSI, okay? Now watch the gauge. See that? It went up abruptly and then it went down. I'll do that again. See, same thing. And that is because the flow from here to this end is obstructed. Now watch what happens if I will release the hose from this end, okay? The pressure inside the hose will be released almost immediately. 
See? By contrast, if I will disconnect it here, the flow is impeded. See? So like I've said, this thing slows down the flow of air from here to here. And as it does, it gives the air time to cool down and expand. And as it cools down, condensation happens, turning the moisture content in the air into liquid. That is why you would see the water collected here. So this does not filter the water and magically separates it from the air, but it slows down the flow, condensing the moisture into liquid. So it's the same with the OCC. So why is this important? Like I've said in the beginning, you want blow-by gases out of the crankcase as quickly as possible. Okay, as quickly as possible. That is why you just have a short hose from here to here. But if you install an OCC, you will need a much longer hose. Say you have the OCC here, a much longer hose, okay, and another longer hose towards the intake. And that will impede or slow down the flow of blow-by gases from your crankcase. The result is, like I've said, if you allow blow-by gases to linger inside your crankcase, that will make your engine oil hotter, it will mix with your engine oil, that will ruin the proper viscosity of the oil, and your engine will lose its proper lubrication, hence your engine wears out much sooner. So you may have prevented this from happening to your intake by installing an OCC, but in so doing, your engine wears out sooner. Let me show you, okay? We have the blow-by gases being sucked into the intake. Let's just take a look at the mixture tube. Let me just put a paper cone just so we can see it better, okay? As you can see, we don't see any oil being pushed out there. Even if I rev the engine. See? Now let's try to install this, okay? Like I've said, this works just like an OCC, and it will slow down the flow from here to here. So with that installed, let's take a look at the deep stick tube again. As you can see, the oil is being pushed out of there. And that is because the flow of blow-by gases is impeded. Hence, the blow-by lingers and it is building up inside the crankcase. That is why the oil is being pushed out from there. So let me remove this and let's put on a new hose there. Now that is just ordinary garden hose, okay? So let's put a new paper cone on there. And as you can see, there is no oil being pushed out from there because the blow-by gases is not impeded. Now that is the reason why I don't have an OCC because as far as I'm concerned, the disadvantage far outweighs the benefit because it's a far more easier job to clean this intake or perhaps remove the cylinder head and clean the valves than to bring down the entire engine and perform an engine overhaul. Now I've seen a lot of posts or videos on Facebook groups. They say they installed an OCC then two or three months down the road. They noticed their engine spewing smoke from the dipstick tube or the breather hose. Now like I've said, the disadvantage of having an OCC far outweighs the benefit. Now, I'm not here to debate with you, okay? If you want to install an OCC, if you believe it's better, it's up to you. It's your engine. But as far as I'm concerned with the explanation that I just told you, that is why I don't have an OCC or catch cam installed. So anyway, I do believe I will end it here. I hope you found this helpful and informative. If you believe that having an OCC is more beneficial, I would like to know more about that too. Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe if you want to, only if you want to, and as always, thank you for watching.